Hey guys, Dave with First Place Auto Parts. Thanks for joining me today. You know, back when I was working on my big block Chevrolet or any traditional small block that had a cast iron block and cast iron cylinder heads, we used to use cylinder head gaskets that looked something like this, which were essentially a steel core with maybe laminated with something, but more importantly, we used traditional bolts. This is a cylinder head bolt from a big block Chevrolet. And look, this thing you would set with a torque wrench, supple different steps around 90 foot pounds and you were done and you could reuse these babies. Modern motors such as the Chevrolet or the GMLS engine, it uses what are called torque to yield bolts. And in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what torque to yield bolts are, why you can't reuse them and why you have to add another tool to your toolbox to properly set them. So today guys, we're talking torque to yield bolts, what you need to know, so stay tuned. So for starters, what is a torque to yield bolt? And torque to yield bolt is a fastener that is designed to stretch as you apply torque to it. And through that stretching process, it applies the proper clamping load. Look, these things, when they stretch, they also tend to weaken, which is why you cannot reuse them. Look, do not be tempted to reuse torque to yield bolts. If you ever have a question, make sure you look in your factory assembly manual. And if they say it's a one-time use bolt, that means it's torque to yield. What can happen with a torque to yield bolt if you reuse it? It is that it can it will not hold the proper tension it will be the actual integrity of the bolt is compromised it could either stretch further not apply the proper clamping load which means that gasket or that main cap isn't going to be properly torqued or it could break all together so do not reuse torque to yield bolts and the reason we have torque to yield bolts is because different types of metal grow and expand at different rates when they heat up. Really, we had a problem back when aluminum cylinder heads came back on, came online. Back in the mid 80s as OEM uh, vehicles, we started having some cylinder head gaskets. And what was happening is the aluminum cylinder head would grow at a different rate than the cast iron block. <clears throat> and what happens is there's a shearing and a movement that takes place that the traditional bolts and traditional cylinder head gaskets just couldn't seal. So what's taking place is that now we have what are called MLS or multi-layer cylinder head gaskets. And what these things do is between two pieces of aluminum because they both grow at a separate rate because they have different heat properties that are taking place, whether it's the combustion chamber or the cylinder in the block, is that we have these gaskets now that compress. And what the torque to yield bolt does is it maintains, even though it allows that part to move and shift a little bit, it'll maintain the proper tension on that gasket on those two parts to make sure that the, the actual clamping force remains consistent and what the factory recommends. And when it comes time to tighten any bolt, it doesn't matter if it's torque to yield or traditional head bolts or rod uh, main cap bolts, is that the friction is present between the threads and the actual piece you're putting the threads into. So the, the amount of friction is immense on these bolts. Look, it's up to 85 to 90% of the actual torque of the load that you're gonna put on a bolt is used up just to overcome that friction, which means only roughly 10% of the torque of 65 foot-pounds per se, per se, only 10% of that is actually used to apply the clamping force. The other 55 foot-pounds is used to actually overcome the actual friction between the threads and the piece you're putting it into. So if a manufacturer, whether it's a bolt or an assembly manual, calls for lubrication on the threads, make sure you heed that advice and use the proper lubrication. Engine oil and engine assembly grease, such as a molly provided by ARP bolts, have a different drag coefficient. They have a different lubrication property, so they're gonna free up that friction, which means you're gonna, you could, you could apply, over apply torque to a traditional bolt. So we just wanna make sure that we're aware of, and this is one of the reasons torque to yield bolts are so important in regards to how we set them. There is a ton of friction when it comes time to putting this bolt into some sort of a cylinder block, a connecting rod that you've gotta overcome. Only 10% of that clamping force that you're applying is actually going to hold that thing together. The other 90%, is used to overcome the friction on the threads. In all bolts, but in particular, the torque to yield bolts, they're much like a spring, in that when you tighten these things down with the proper torque setting, is that you get this actual clamping force. That bolt actually stretches a little bit to maintain that force, so you're preloading that thing with a certain amount of stretch. The torque to yield bulk, one of the things that you're gonna have to understand or know is the phrase torque angle, and that's where that extra tool is gonna come in, because a tool that you're gonna use is a torque angle finder, and it goes in between your breaker bar and the socket that you're gonna to use to tighten down that head bolt. So you are gonna have another tool, and it's really critical. Look guys, get this tool, they're fairly inexpensive. You can get them at 
a lot of different places, but you've got to have it if you're using torque to yield bolts. Torque to yield bolts are a fact of life and when you're, you're lurking on a late model, whether it's a Coyote, a Hemi, or even an LS or an LT engine, do not be tempted to go cheap on a build or repair and reuse the bolts. Look, they're meant to be used one time and done. They stretch, they did their job, now go buy some new bolts. Look, these things are a fact of life with late model motors. What they do is they maintain a certain clamping force, hot or cold, and they help stabilize the part that you're putting on. So you've got to use the right bolts, you've got to set the torque properly, and make sure you don't be tempted, you're not tempted to reuse the old ones, pitch those things, they're not good for anything else. Matter of fact, what they could do is cause catastrophic engine failure, depending on where the part was held on, like in, in regards to say maybe the main cap, if you reuse those bolts, it's not worth it. Make sure you get new torque to yield bolts. And when it comes time to buying parts for your engine or your classic American muscle car truck, please check us out at First Place Auto Parts. Guys, there we have everything you need at fpautoparts.com. Either get your car back on the road, make it go faster, or stop harder or maybe get that project exactly where you want it to be in your head to make it a reality. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video and until next time, keep the hammer down and keep it between the guardrails.